what's up guys so I'm gonna talk about the best type of cardio uh, I get this question often so the best type of cardio I'm gonna give you three ways in which you can choose in which you can decide the best type of cardio for you because it depends there is no particular type to say because um, I've tried all different types of cardio and, and for those who are wondering what constitutes of cardio it could be any form of exercise that you know raises your heart heart rate and uh, you know raises the rate at which your b body cons consumes oxygen you know and uh, in turn it can help you increase metabolism can help you keep in a caloric deficit and can help you in your fat loss journey so the best type of cardio I would say I usually look at three things so the first thing I look at would be comfort or what you enjoy you know what you're comfortable with because some people enjoy running but they don't enjoy the treadmill they want to run outside some people enjoy run, just running on the treadmill or oh, some people enjoy dancing as cardio some people enjoy boxing as cardio some people enjoy swimming as cardio some people enjoy aerobics in the gym as cardio some people enjoy walking some people enjoy the stairmaster so it depends what you're comfortable with and so the first thing you should do is to choose what you think you're comfortable with you know and then you can use that to the best of your ability to to reap the benefits of cardio and then number two would be what's available to you some people don't have access to the gym you know but you can still do cardio you can go out to run you can go out to walk you can go to the field and do different you know exercises circuit exercises for high intensity uh, interval training some people only have access to the gym there are still things you can do some people only have access to dance studios some people you know it depends what's available to you so that would be the second way to choose best cardio for you what could be what's what's the uh, what's available to you that you can use to your advantage and number three would be number three is a combination okay so it's gonna be the intensity the intensity that you're willing to 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 do to endure during your cardio sessions but also the time you know because the time that you have if you if you if you work too much or if you don't have enough time during the day or during the week for the mothers out there if you have kids to take care of if you're in school and working at the same time you may not have as much time for to spend like 45 minutes just doing cardio like some other people so it depends on how much time you have and then how much intensity some people don't like to run that could be like high intensity for them so they would rather do that the stairmaster and then some people like the intensity so they could go running you know some people could do dancing you know and then some people would choose high intensity interval training which is heat whereby it's less time you could do the same work somebody does in 45 minutes on it and a stem master in 25 minutes just doing a couple exercises exercises uh, combos like one after another rest time period in 25 minutes you'll be done with your cardio session so again it depends on your time and your and the type of intensity you know but obviously intensity comes with time because uh, I do all kinds of cardio but if I haven't done cardio for two weeks I'm not just gonna go out there and run for half an hour like I know it's not gonna be possible because I haven't been training for it I'm, my, I'm not used to it I need time to build you know to build my 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 intensity levels and to build my endurance so again four things to choose the best type of cardio for you would be what you're comfortable with um, what's available to you and then 
the third is a combination of the type of intensity you're uh, willing to endure whether it's high intensity or low intensity and then the other thing would be what the time you have on your schedule if you have lots of time you could do four or five days of cardio for 45 minutes I mean that's too much but if you enjoy it and you have the time you can do it if you don't have enough time you can opt for uh, for short periods of time for like 20 25 minutes dancing class of 25 minutes aerobics of 25 minutes heat cardio of 25 minutes less rest period getting a good workout and you're good so if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel and check the description for links to my online coaching website to uh, book your session or get workout plans and to follow my Instagram. Thank you.